set up the egg box and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And here we have the proud mama. Looks like a pretty decent size clutch. To set up the egg box, of course you need something to keep the eggs in. You just have to do it like that. Target training blizzard. That is, well, isn't that just cool? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I really hope all of you guys are having an awesome day and I hope I can make it even more awesome because today I have some really exciting news and that is one of my female ball pythons has finally laid her eggs. So yeah, we're going to set up the egg box and I'm going to show you guys how to do that and we're also going to feed the monitor lizards today. So stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. And here we have the proud mama. She is all wrapped up. So yeah, let's set up the egg box and uh, well, collect the eggs. So, to set up the egg box, of course you need something to keep the eggs in. I use these plastic boxes. And also for the incubation medium, I use perlite. So I have this bag that's almost empty, and then I have another bag. So, I'm gonna start with filling the box with perlite. So this is probably going to, yeah, a little bit dusty. Gonna have to open the second bag as well. You need maybe an inch of perlite for the eggs. I'm gonna pour in a little bit more here. Then we're gonna see. <coughs> I forgot how <coughs> dusty it gets. <coughs> yeah. Actually, I want a little bit more. Maybe you should wear a mask or something. I don't know. <coughs> yeah, and then some uh, not hot water but lukewarm water and the ratio is well i'm going to show you guys so start by doing this and mix it around more water and yeah this is what you want you want to lump together without dripping water you see and it breaks apart easy this is actually perfect but yeah, I think I'm going to take a little bit more perlite actually. A little bit more water. Let's take a little bit more, just to be sure. There we go. All done for the eggs. So before we collect the eggs, we have to get mama out and put her in a bath just to get the baby smell of her so she will start to eat as soon as possible so i'm gonna put her in this water so yeah hopefully this will go easy let's see how this will go she probably won't be very happy or she just is this cool well this was not even a hiss good girl yeah good girl wow not even a hiss wow she's so thin you guys you're gonna see that later and here you guys have the eggs looks like a pretty decent size clutch I was gonna take them out and weigh them now. So, now I'm gonna grab the eggs and unfortunately I can only use one camera at a time so you won't see me taking them out. But anyway, it's I'm gonna weigh them first and then we're gonna count them. One egg was loose. So I'm gonna put that right over there first and then we'll do like this and then I'm gonna separate them because I won't be able to close the box. But that is 738 grams. And it's 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs. That is a decent size clutch. Her last clutch was actually, I think it was eight eggs actually. I don't, yeah, I think it was eight eggs. So one egg less. So that's actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. But now I'm going to separate them because you see, I can't fit the lid on this. So I'm gonna do that now. So yeah, let's see. I'm gonna remove the scale. Then we gently are going to, I'm also going to mark them of course. But then gently going to pull them off. And because they are laid today, there's not too much to worry about if they would roll. But yeah. Hopefully I can avoid it anyway. See here. It's like glue. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. That side. I know some people just ripped them apart, but I'm too. Yeah. I don't dare to do that because I don't want any egg to break. That's good. Let me put that here. Hopefully I don't need to separate the rest of them, but we'll see if I can make them fit in the box and yeah this is the biggest box I can use so because I don't have the biggest incubator let's see if we can do like this yeah I actually think this would be great but anyway I'm gonna mark them so I know where the top is I think I can use this pen actually we have yeah now I know where the top is at least but yeah now we're going to check them for veins so I need a light uh, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but I'm gonna try anyway. So yeah. Yeah, you see the veins? This is fertile. And yeah. There you see the veins. Now check every egg. Actually, yeah, veins. Veins, veins, yeah, veins, and veins. Awesome. So yeah, now we're gonna put them in the incubator. So time to put them in. And I incubate at 32 degrees Celsius or 89 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna put them in here now. Here we have them. There we go. This is awesome, the first eggs for season. And yeah, the incubator is not quiet. But yeah, that was the first clutch of this year. Now there's only one more clutch. But yeah, this, I'm so happy. I'm so excited about this. So this is freaking awesome. We're gonna let her soak for maybe 15 more minutes so I can be sure that she drinks. And well, I did put in fresh water, but if you're going to soak them, why not let them be in the water for a little bit. But while she is soaking, I'm going to feed uh, Rexy and Tage. So I'm gonna feed my Mondo lizard. So that's gonna be awesome. And yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that the eggs should hatch in, what is it, 52 to 60 days. So uh, 
about two months. So guys, time to feed Rexy. And yeah, I'm sorry about the noise, but that's the incubator. Sorry, you guys just have to deal with it. But yeah, let's feed this little crazy girl. Let's show her the ball, you guys see. Here honey, take the ball. Go and present the food. See, she is so awesome. I'm gonna do the other side here, you guys see. And here we have the food. You see how quick she gets it? Or I don't know if you guys saw that actually, but I'm gonna get a better shot for you guys. Now let's see. And present the food. Don't know how good you can see that. Yeah, mess up your water. Just do that, honey. She's so freaking awesome. Finally, it's quiet. And yeah, I know she gets substrate in her mouth. But she actually poops without a problem, so I'm not that worried. But I try to help her sometimes, like now. See if I can get the cockroach. And yeah, she has a good hole of it. Then I actually do clean it in the water. Here you go, honey. Here. Yeah. So I noticed when you put water on the cockroach, of course, she's going to swallow it a lot easier. Just look at her, she is so awesome. And yeah, I'm sorry about the camera angle, but this is the only place where I can put the camera. So this is the best shot that I can give you. Now I'm flapping around the ball and she saw it, you see? She is freaking awesome. Let's gonna see if I can have the ball in the wrong hand. So, so this will go. Yeah, good. Good girl. Nope. So that she followed the ball even though she had the food. So her, f her feeding response is crazy. It's freaking crazy. If I can get it to chase the food a little bit, not just the ball. See? No, the, there should bite the tongue. No, just have to do it like that. Do you guys see that? She is, well, if this is not a sign of intelligent, I don't know what is. Target training a lizard. That is, well, isn't that just cool? She's so freaking awesome. Yeah, you are, honey. If I can, if you want, let me pet her a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes she d does bite. That's okay. It doesn't hurt. Not now, at this moment, but. You don't want to get bit by an adult savannah mother because they are, well, they are pretty strong. Not that they have been bitten by one, but if you see the size of them as an adult, you understand why you don't want to get bit. Here you go, honey. She actually has bitten me twice, but it hasn't even started the bleeding, so. He has little love bites from her. Yeah, darling. She's awesome. I love this lizard. And on the menu for Target today, there's actually a little mouse and a rat pinky. So we're gonna use the ball on Target as well. Go, honey. 
Okay, that's good. He touched the ball and that is what I want. He is so awesome. I can't believe I actually have two tiny dinosaurs. Well, Rex is going to be a lot bigger than this guy actually, when she is full grown. But they are just so freaking awesome. Mondo lizards are, well, my honest opinion is that they are the coolest reptiles. Even cooler than crocodilians. That is my honest opinion. Now let's see if we can get him to chase the pinky. Just going to set the camera in a better angle. So here we go. Ball. Come on, man. You have to work for it. Come on, man. When he strikes, he strikes so fast. So I want. I don't want him to get it. Just yet. Come on, man. You have to work for it. There you go. You guys saw that? Isn't that just so cool? The mouse and the rat pinky are good meals for him. Good. Good, buddy. Yeah, you're so awesome. You see what he did to his water? Now I have to change that. And I did change it just a few hours ago, so... But that is what you have to deal with when you're keeping mono lizards. They're going to mess up their water every single day. And sometimes you have to change the water three times per day. I'm not kidding. Yeah, you happy? Just look at that cute face. My little pet dinosaur. You're so awesome, dude. I love you, man. Yeah. He's so awesome. I love this guy. How could you not? He is just so freaking awesome. So, time to put mama back in her enclosure. Hey, honey. Wow, do you see how thin she is? She is just skin and bones right now. Sorry. I'm gonna show you guys how concave they get. No, you can't see it. But, well, trust me guys, she is really thin. So I'm gonna get her in the enclosure now. And hopefully I won't feel any more eggs. Go. Just gonna put her in eggs. Wow, she barely weighs anything. Yeah. I'm gonna get her back on food as soon as possible. Hopefully we can get her to eat tomorrow. Now we're just waiting for this girl to lay her eggs. And that will probably be in a month. So, can't wait for that. And yeah, her clutch last year was 10 eggs. And well, she is just as big as she was last year so I wouldn't be surprised if it's 10 eggs again but we're only waiting for you now honey yeah yeah I totally forgot to tell you guys she shed it out last night so that is why I know that she's going to lay it within the next month so yeah she has done her pre lay shed and all of that so now there's just a waiting game so that's all we have time for today guys i want to say thank you so much for watching it means a lot to me and i really do appreciate it and i really hope you enjoyed today's episode i enjoyed making it very much you know first clutch of the year i couldn't be more excited so that is awesome and i also want to ask you for a favor Please, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I hope, at least I hope you want to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit the like button. And also, if you want to, comment on the video. That will help me out a lot. And it will also mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, go and check out my brother's channel, Tommy's Serpents. Link in the description down below. 
you won't regret it, I promise you. So, anyway, I'm gonna leave you with this, guys. Take care, be kind to someone, at least try to show other people respect. And if you're able to, follow your dreams. So, till next time, goodbye, guys, and I love you.